Here we are at the Pontiac Silverdome for another exciting matchup in the hard to handle tournament to crown the hardest thick bar rolling handle in the world today. Let's look at the opponents that will be in the ring. First up we have the Silarukov rolling handle. Let's check out the drop test. Ow, that hit my thumb. That's pretty good action there. Let's look at the roll. Hey, that spins pretty good. The opponent will be the new style Rolling Thunder. Current, current model. Has a tendency to stick. Let's check out the roll. This thing has not been used more than half dozen times in the last year since preparing for the Arnold. And... This thing I have had on a loading pin one time. So, let's get the carabiners connected and let's get the chalk dust flying. For the official coin flip, you can see heads, tails. Rolling Thunder will be heads. Silarukov will be tails. Here we go. And. It is Tails, Silarukov will go first. All right, this actually is the closest two handles I've ever been together. Uh, it's like 2.6 and 2.9. So the, the number of pounds on the loading pin, the total, is 157 and change for both of them. So this is going to be the closest that the weights have ever been in one of these matchups. Um, we got the Silarukov first, then the Rolling Thunder. 157. 167 for the Silarukov handle. One seventy seven. One eighty six, one ninety six, oh, you gotta be kidding me, you gotta be kidding me. Can't even believe that. Man, that was just a case of trying to be too pretty with it. I missed the 196. This is back down to like 189. <sighs> Man, it felt good. I thought I had it pulled high enough and I just for some reason brain farted and set it down before I hit the stick. All right, this is uh, a five on there. So about 192 or so.
that's what this is the root of. 206. Two forty six. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Six pounds. <clears throat> oh, nope, not going to happen. Two forty nine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a disappointing, uh, that was a disappointing match for me. I definitely should have had 196 and then maybe <clears throat> ended up with adding a two and a half and getting it on the Silarukov. And that really, really irritates me. I just, I thought it was going to touch and I set it down. I, complacency, distraction, call it what you will. Let's look at the... <clears throat> Here's the totals here. So, <clears throat> you can see I missed 196. Dropped down to 2.5 pound jumps from 186. Got 189, 191, and 194. The only the only uh, saving grace is that I think this might be like a PR for me. I may have gotten uh, 250 at some point. I'm not sure. But uh, I haven't trained Rolling Thunder in a long, long time. And, uh, I was, I was pleasantly surprised to get this, especially considering the fact that it was at the end of so many other attempts. So, um, putting up one of the best numbers ever on a handle after years of training it, uh, despite not training it consistently for months and months, like I said, at the beginning of this, I, uh, I might've used it a half dozen times since training for the Arnold last year, which got or earlier this year, which got canceled. And, um, I doubt it's even that much. I, I can only think of one time where I actually got it out to actually train on. So <clears throat> the next mat, the next matchup, uh, will be from the losers bracket. So there's going to be some handles that are battling back. So stay tuned, but that wraps up our first round of action in the hard to handle tournament to crown the hardest thick bar rolling handle in the world today. I hope you like my Spider-Man curtains. They were there from when my stepson lived in this room and I never took them down. <laughs> All the best in your training. Give it one of these. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any matchups. And leave a comment with any questions that you might have. Take care.